Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a really cool video and it is making a lover's eye brooch, which were these brooches which had the eye of a loved one painted inside them, which were really popular in Victorian times and were created before that. And there's a little bit of a story to them. I won't go through all of it, but I do have the description of these articles below if you guys want to check it out. But basically it's a really cool painted eye and then usually it's like diamonds or little um, pearls around the edges that people used to wear them as jewelry or that they also use them on their clothing but they were just really beautiful and I really wanted to make one since I fa first found out about them but additionally this is going to be a really exciting project with me and historical bell this is the first video of two that I'm going to be making that has to do with this project and it's going to be a surprise so I want you guys to guess what you think the project is we're both doing the same kind of theme so guess what do you think this this costume is going to be inspired by um, I'm, I'm curious to see if you guys can guess it just head over to her channel and see her video she made a petticoat that is going to go with her outfit so see if you can guess what it is and put a comment on her channel and leave a comment on mine what you think it is. I met Marie Historical Bell. I didn't meet her in person, but I met her through the 2019 Secret Santa and she was one of my, she was my Secret Santa. So, and I've had the pleasure to work with her again, so I'm really excited. And look how cool these lovers eye brooch are. I just think they're so beautiful. And they're lots of different kinds. They have ones with the eyebrows, ones with just the close up of the eye, pearls around them. So they have a really good variation of these kind of brooches. So I decided to go with one that had the eyebrow in it. I did this drawing based off a photograph. So um, I wanted to keep a little bit of the eyebrow and I noticed also that some of it had a little bit of the hair in it as well so I wanted to try that out as well so I'm gonna start out with these little brooch kind of pins I got them in the garment district of New York City so they have like a kind of back I, I was trying to go for something that had a the back was actually filled in but I couldn't find it so I'm just gonna fill it in with silk but what I'm doing here is just outlining where I'm going to actually draw the eye. And then I've just sketched out here, but then I'm just going to show you guys my painting and then we'll move on to creating the actual brooch part. I did this with watercolors and I have linked below everything that I used in this video. Um, so, and some of the inspiration behind the video as well, if you guys want to check that out and you're interested in making one for yourself.
So I just put some rubber cement over the top to just seal everything in. And then I went ahead and cut it out to match the shape that I needed for the brooch. And now I'm using this E6000 glue and I just wanted to make like almost an um, a glass sort of look shape to it. I don't know if like I was thinking that I could like use like a little bit of glass or epoxy but it seemed like people use like resin for it, but I, this is all I had really at the moment and I just wanted to make it that day. <laughs> so, um, that is why I'm doing this. So I literally just like put a glob on and then I just kind of moved it around until it kind of had like a bubble shape to it. And then I just let it dry. Now I'm trying to fit it in the brooch, basically. So then what I did, because I, I wanted to make like the back kind of covered in silk like uh, I don't know I thought it would look more authentic if I did that so what I did was I gathered the edges of this little round thing that I cut off so I could kind of fold it in a little bit because I don't I don't want there to be, to be raw edges And then once it kind of like all the raw edges weren't showing, I sewed it in basically through each little rhinestone. There's like an area where you could put a piece of thread so it didn't, you couldn't really see it. So I just sewed on the back. Okay guys, that is it. It's finished. What did you guys think of it? If you liked it, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. And please check out Marie Historical Bell and let me know in the comments what you think this is going to be for and what you think 
inspired this outfit both for me and historical bell all right guys thank you so much for watching bye